Hi guys, Rich here from Trackspark. If you've never heard of us or you don't know what we do, then we're a service that provides a monthly goodie bag uh, full of music production software uh, between the $50 to $100 uh, mark every month and our subscribers pay just $5.99. The bundles include things like plugins, instruments, sample packs, music loops uh, and stems and tutorials. And you can join free for a month by following the link below here to our website. Uh, and like I say, you'll get this month's bundle entirely for free. So uh, why not give it a go? Um, right then, on to uh, what this little sort of uh, film's about. Um, we're just going to take a quick look at one of the plugins from this month's bundle. It is uh, by G Sonic here, um, or G Sonic. Um, and it's the FSQ 1964 Vacuum Tube High Frequency Transient Vitalizer. Um, so yeah, let's get into it and, and check out you know what it looks like and how it sounds. So uh, firstly, I think it looks pretty cool, retro sort of style, which is what I love in a plugin. Um, and also, not too many knobs and buttons. Uh, again, I think that's what I like in a plugin. Um, uh, so let, I've got a nice little sort of track spark edition here, which is cool. Um, so let's go through all the little um, the pots and knobs and buttons. So uh, the on off button, standard. Uh, input volume and output volume <clears throat> and your VU meter here on the right. So again, pretty standard stuff. Uh, we've got some presets at the bottom. And so uh, now let's take a look at these uh, four knobs in the middle. Let's start here. So we've got the, uh, you can obviously uh, sweep to which frequency you want using this frequency knob and the boost. So the amount uh, you want to boost that frequency by or the gain you want to you know boost it by. And uh, at the bottom here, the this one, the tube harmonics. So uh, vitalizers tend to they're not just you're not just it's not just an EQ you're not just boosting a frequency you're adding extra harmonics distorted harmonics which is what and obviously this is the amount of, of extra sort of uh, tube distortion that you want to add to the frequency that you're boosting which is what a vitalizer does um, the bandwidth um, if you want a really high Q then obviously all the way over to the right. If you want a really low Q or wide Q, then all the way over to the left. So you'd have a really sort of wide uh, spectrum uh, of, of frequency that, you, that you're that you boosting there. So I'm just going to stick it in the middle. I'm going to stick everything in the middle, I think, to start with, uh, and, and then uh, and see how we go. So let's see how it sounds. Right, I'm going to stick it on one of the stems from the track in this month's goodie bag. Um, and it's the main sort of bass synth riff, if you like, from the track. And I'm going to see if we can um, <clears throat> add a bit to it and make it pop out a bit more in the mix. So let's just obviously, I've uh, just disabled the plugin and let's just take a listen to it and see what it sounds like anyway. <laughs> Okay, so um, it's quite a hard sounding sort of house house riff there or dance riff um, and it's quite dirty as well. It's got a bit of a sort of an analogy dirty sound to it. So um, <clears throat> let's turn the plug-in on and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to boost it. I'm going to boost it quite high and then we can find the frequencies that, that we want to play with. So... Um, Okay, I'm going to do that and then and just play around with the frequency knob. So instantly you can hear those high end, that high end really popping out and becoming quite crystal clear. And if I go over this way, it's obviously the, those frequencies are too high for what we've got going on on this stem. So, um, yeah, so the sweet spot is sort of around the 8 to 9 o'clock mark here. So I'm just going to leave it on 8 o'clock because it didn't seem to be making too much difference between this area here. And I'm going to 
I'm going to just tighten the band. I'm just going to tighten the, the cue a little bit. Um, hold on. Stick that back on the 8 o'clock. Right. Okay, I'm going to bring these right back as well because that's obviously extreme. So I'm going to put them back to where they were and see how we sound now. Not bad. Let's see what it sounds like without. Almost a little dull now without. So let's put it back on again. Okay, I think that's sounding um, quite nice. I think it might cut through quite well. Let's have a listen in the mix. That's quite nice. Um, it's really cutting through, like I said, and, and making that, that riff um, pop out in the mix and become sort of the focal point, really, which is what I wanted. Let's have a listen without the plug-in again. I'm going to stick it on. I'm just going to back it off again a bit more because it just seems like it's a, a tad too much. Make sure the level's not, not um, peaking either. So let's have one more go. Take it off. I think that's helped quite a lot. I'm just going to tweak it one more time. That's great. I think that's sounding really good and that has improved that uh, mix. So um, thanks a lot, G-Sonic. I wish I had this uh, earlier. Um, I hope that was good, guys. If you've not downloaded it yet, then uh, get on downloading. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you really like the look of this, then why not uh, give it a go? Go to tracksmart.com. Right. Cheers, guys. <laughs>